So let's go on board with that, that pole position, that absolute joy. Breaking just past this polystyrene board. Down one gear, fourth gear, get it in. Nibble the curb, don't smash. Careful with the track limit center. He was really close to that there. Easy flat down the avenue, through the kink, hold it right, over the crest, little break, fourth gear again, in, really camber there, release the lock, full power, again, miss the track limit sensor, only chance to relax really on the lap. Coming up to Ireland, is he gonna break to see if the car dips, or is it a lift? It was hard, looked like a little lift to me, lets the car run, get it back to left, smash on the brakes, this is where we saw the McLaren in the wall, let it run, bring it back down, second nibble of the apex, straight up, full gas, go. Another long kink into the first hairpin. That's how much curb he has on the left. That big sausage like Mount Everest in the car. Bang, in, on the right, go. Really smooth. Look at his hands, like the amount of steering lock. 45 degrees, no real rotation oversteer to catch. Another chicane, Nickerbrook, hard on the brakes. He was actually missing a bump there. I've not seen anyone do that before. It's interesting when you get a foreign driver in, they spot things that us locals just don't see anymore. I've done too many laps in race school cars around here. Final bit, coming into sector three, Druids. No bridge to use a reference. Aim at the big tree, bring itself over to the right. Flat through the kink, over to the left. The shortest break you dare, in, touch the curb. Back to the middle, back for the second curb. Go over the rise, hope it doesn't spit you in the wall or the bridge if it's a really big one. Last corner, new surface, slightly grippier, the guys are telling me. Get it into the apex, relax, breathe on the throttle. Don't get a track limit on the last corner. And like I said, if you know it's a good lap, do a short distance to the line rather than set the next lap up. That lap looked beautiful. I couldn't critique one thing, which is not surprising. It's Drew Goonall in the Merck around Alton Park on pole. But it was tick, a beautiful tick, lap. Tick.